In this video, we will create the geometry for the body of influence, and we will also split the top face of our wing into three separate faces. So first, let's change the view to wireframe. We will be sketching on the ZX plane, so click on the Y axis and zoom in. Select ZX plane and new sketch. In the sketching tab, under draw, select polyline. Make sure you're coincident with the x-axis by C and create a sketch. When you get to the end, you can right click and simply say closed end. Now we're going to add some dimensions. So in general, this edge will be 1.6 feet. In our orientation, this horizontal distance is 1.2 feet. Now we want the distance between the origin, or this axis, and this point to be 0.3 feet. Now we want this to be vertical. So go on to Constraints, Vertical, and select this line. You can always show your constraints by selecting yes here. So now I'm going to go back to dimensions and add angles. We want the angle between this line and this line to be 60 degrees. And we want the angle between this line and this line oh, to be 105.8. So now we've created the sketch for our body of influence. If we go into modeling, and we go to extrude, our geometry, and instead of add material, we're going to say add frozen. The direction is going to be both symmetric, and we're going to extrude 0.2 feet. Click generate, and if we switch back so that we look at the z-axis, you can adjust it and see there's our body of influence. 